Looking for a great place to purchase Dragon Ball Super product? Look no further than Pro Play Games. They carry a wide array of singles and sealed product at amazing prices. Go to www.pro-playgames.com today. Welcome back to the Mafuba Jar. We have sealed you away for more Dragon Ball Super content. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a deck profile of one that we did a battle with in our How to Play Dragon Ball Super video, and that deck is going to be... Future Trunks. Now, this is pretty much a beginner style fringe competitive deck. It's not anything that's going to do fantastic all the time. Sometimes it can get a little bit lucky, but Trunks is actually a really fun deck to play and a very good one for beginners as well. Um, I personally really enjoyed playing this deck when I first picked up the game several weeks ago. Uh, I've actually been playing now for a little over a month. That's kind of surprising. But uh, when I first picked it up, I really enjoyed playing Trunks. It's a deck that is very focused around combos and drawing cards off of those combos. So um, in general, you're not going to see a ton of battle cards played all the time. It is a deck that takes a little bit to get going. You're not going to awaken super quickly, but when it works, it works really well. And you can rack up some good numbers and hit pretty hard with future trunks. So let's take a look at our leader card first. Now, this is the first side of trunks, which you're going to start with. It's auto says... Once per turn, during your turn, when you combo with a card that has an energy cost of two or more, draw one card. Now, it doesn't say you have to combo with this. You're going to have to, you can use any of your battle cards and you can combo based off attacks off your battle cards as well. It's whenever you combo at all with a cost of two or more, which your energy cost, of course, is going to be up here in the top left hand corner. You're going off of this energy cost. You're not going to go off the cost of, say, right there where it says zero you're not going to go off this energy cost you're going off this energy cost so remember that too if you're brand new to the game you're going off of that so when you combo with an energy cost of two or more card then you get to draw a card that's pretty good so when your life reaches four or less you can awaken into trunks hope for the future now it does have the same uh, auto once per turn when you combo with a card that has an energy cost of two or more draw one card But it also gains another auto which is basically common for both sides uh, for any awakened card And that is being able to draw a card when you attack with this side of the card plus you gain an additional 5,000 power so Awakening is really really good for any deck Obviously, this is no different, but it may take a little bit longer to awaken this than what you might be used to if you play other decks that awaken themselves quicker. Again, blue is not a deck. Blue typing is not the kind of type that can awaken itself very quickly most of the time. But it is really good for energy acceleration and things like that. So, there's your leader card. Future Trucks. So, let's go ahead and take a look at how this deck works. Uh, this is, of course, our build. This is not, uh, you know, a standard... Uh, there really is no standard. I shouldn't say that. There is no standard build of anything right now. The game is so brand new that it's mostly just off of opinions and what we like best. So this is our take on future Trunks. First and foremost, we play four copy of Trunks Time Machine. It is a very good one drop, and it's even better mid to late game than it is in the very beginning. I'll tell you why. So, the Activate Main states, if your leader card is Trunks Future, look at up to 10 cards from the top of your deck, Choose up to one, either Son Goku, Vegeta, or Future Trunks card among them. Add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Then if you have four or more energy already down, you can actually choose one of your energy and switch it back into active. So you pay one to use the card, and then if you have four more, you switch it right back to active. It's like you get to use it for free. So this is a very good card. We do play four of these for that reason. So let's go ahead and uh, set these out here. So this is your way of searching out your battle cards. Very, very effective. All right, speaking of battle cards, let's get into them. First and foremost, we have four copies of the one drop Kind Saiyan Son Goku. It's got a really good auto when you play this card. Look at, up, look at up to seven cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one blue Son Goku among them and add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck. No energy cost specifically, but it has to be a blue Son Goku card. So Kind Saiyan Son Goku searches out uh, other Gokus that are blue. And it does have that energy cost of one. You can combo for free with it for 5,000 as well. So even if it sits up in the active spot, in the, in the battle spot for a long time, you can combo with it later on and uh, it works out pretty nice. Okay, so next up, we got four copies of the three drop Trunks Creator of the Future. This is a rare from Union Force, and its activate main is really interesting. So 
Ideally, what you're going to want to do is when you get this card out, you pay three energy to get him out. Then you're going to want to attack with him first. If you know, if you're not really too worried about getting Mafuba, that is. Um, but you want to attack with him, and then you can activate his main. Place this card at the bottom of your deck, and then choose one blue Sun Goku or Vegeta with an energy cost of three or less from your hand and play it. Now that means that this activate main can work even after he's already been tapped in rest mode. Pretty good. So you can attack with this, then go, all right, I'm gonna activate his main, put him on the bottom of the deck, take a Goku or Vegeta card from your hand, be like, all right, there you go. You get to play him in the active position and you can even attack again. So it's pretty solid. So when this card goes on the bottom of your deck, it sits there and you don't even have to shuffle after that. So that's pretty cool. So we play four copies of that. This is a very big part of this deck because it can get out some really good stuff. First, let's take a look at this card, which we play three of, and that is the three drop, Vegeta the Proud Father. This is one of the targets that you can go for using Trunks' Activate Main, and it is very good. All right, so the auto is when you play this card with Trunks' Future Skill, which is obviously a Trunks' Future Skill, then you can choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO that card instantaneously. The obvious exceptions being things with Indestructible, like Zamasu or Goku Black when Zamasu is out. Uh, you can't pop a, they call it popping, by the way, it's, that's what it's known as. You can't pop a battle card that has that ability or has a way of stopping you from doing so. Obviously, if they play something like uh, a yellow deck, they've got ways around this as well. Um, let me just say right now, Crusher Ball and Cold Blood Lust are disgusting cards, but uh, Cold Blood Lust will definitely hurt you a lot in this instance. So, we got three copies of Vegeta the Proud Father, uh, 15,000 attack, it's pretty good, and uh, that ability, that auto I should say, is uh, also very solid as well. All right, we're gonna move everything over to make room for the next card that's searchable, or I should say playable, using Trunks' main, and it is also a very good one as well. That is Mighty Attack Son Goku 3 drop. It has critical, which means while this card, when this card inflicts damage to your opponent's life, they place that many cards in the drop area instead of their hand. So critical is actually very, very bad for your opponent because instead of taking a life and putting it in their hand and being able to use it, it goes boop, right to the drop area. So that's just, that hurts, that hurts. And it's got 15,000 attack as well. So that's also really good. But you can search this out, or you can play this as well, using Trunks Create of the Future's uh, Activate Main. Another target that we have as well, which is also pretty good, is the Rapid Spirit Ball Sun Goku. Now this is a three drop Goku as well, and when you play this card, choose up to one of your energy and switch it into the active mode. So if you're tapped out, and you've already played your Trunks down and attacked, you can actually switch it with this and then untap one of your energy. So it's good for that purpose. And that way you're set up to maybe use like a Weasus Coercion next turn or on your opponent's turn or something like that. So two copies of this, 15,000 power as well. These are all targets. All of these are targets for Trunks Creator of the Future's Activate Main. Put those over there. All right, so we do play some blockers in this deck because again, this can take a little while to build up. Sometimes you need a way to negate your opponent's attacks and blockers are really good for that. And this is a really good blocker for this specific deck. And that is the two drop, My Supporter of Hope. Now, this card has a blocker, which means when uh, one of your other cards is attacked, you may switch this card to rest mode and change the target of the attack to this card. Then the permanent states, if Trunks Future is in your battle area or uh, in your leader area, you may play this card from your hand without paying its energy cost. So that means this two, you don't pay it. You just go, there you go, my blocker. Okay, it's ready to go. And unless your opponent has a way of KOing a card that's in the active position, this is a free negate. Very, very good and uh, very annoying at the same time. But that's why we play three of them, to help protect our trunks from damage while we get things going. All right, so uh, a couple other attackers here. We got two more battle cards to go over specifically, and these are the ones that can do the most damage. This card here, is a Restless Spirit, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, it's a four drop, it's got double strike. And when you play this card, reveal one card from the bottom of your deck. If that card is a Trunks Future with an energy cost of three or less, play that card and negate its activate skill for the duration of the game. Uh, if it is any other card, place it at the bottom of your deck. So here's where this combination comes in really well. All right, so here's what happens. You play Trunks Creator of the Future. You play it down, you attack, or you choose not to. 
and you immediately switch it with Vegeta the Proud Father, right? You pop one of their battle cards. Awesome. This goes in the bottom of the deck. Remember, it's sitting here at the bottom of the deck. Next turn you go, I'm going to tap four energy, play Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Restless Spirit. Then, on the bottom of your deck is Trunks. Guess what? Boom! You bring it back out. Now, the only thing is, is that you can't use this Activate Main, but you've just gained a free attacker for the turn by doing so. So it's really good for that. And this has Double Strike, so you're going to inflict two damage on your opponent's life if you choose to attack, and they can't find a way to negate you or combo out your attack. So really, really good card. All right, now, for the, the, the card that you want more than anything else in this deck that you're building up to and you're saving up your, 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 your life for in order to get this card out, that is going to be Trunks the Constant Hope. We play two of these. Now, if you use uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, you get the Trunks back out, you can actually evolve him for five. Otherwise, he is a six drop straight from hand, which you can do, and he's got some pretty cool stuff. So first and foremost, permanent is if both Son Goku and Vegeta are in your battle area or drop area, this card gains triple strike. You're inflicting three damage to your opponent's life with this card uh, instead of one. And the auto is when this card attacks or is attacked, you can choose up to one blue battle card in your drop area and combo with it. That's pretty awesome. Now that means you still do have to pay the cost. So if it's something like this, you do have to pay one to use it, but you can combo with it by taking it out of your drop area and playing it to combo when it attacks or it is attacked. And it's got 25,000 power. So that's also pretty darn good. Triple strike, 25,000, you can combo with a card out of your discard or your drop area. This is the card that can win you games if you can pull it off. Sometimes you don't even need it, but this is the card that's definitely gonna help your chances. All right. So this is basically your main battle cards. Now remember what I said, this deck is about comboing. You want to combo to use Trunks' uh, uh, auto over here, your leader card's auto. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna flip this over now because this looks much cooler. Um, you're gonna want a combo to draw cards and get into things. So the combo cards that we're gonna use more than anything, once we get down to four life or less, we can start using Boost Attack Piccolo. Now it says zero, cost you nothing, plus zero, unless, when you combo with this card, if your leader card is blue and your life is four or less, draw one card and add 10,000 to this card's combo for the duration of the turn. So when you go to attack, say it's Trunks the Constant Hope, and you play as a combo, boost attack Piccolo, four or less life, draw a card, now that 25 is now 35,000, and let's just say for argument's sake, there's another one in your discard pile, you activate Trunks' auto, you play another one out of your discard pile, if you wanted to, draw another card. It can be a pretty broken combination. And since you're comboing with a card energy, with a card with two or more energy, guess what? You get to draw another card thanks to this ability and you draw when this card attacks. So it's just lots of draw. Very, very good uh, for that reason. You just gotta make sure you don't deck out more than anything, but lots of draw and lots of power can be added to these cards. Now, another thing that helps too is this card. <laughs> Furthering Destruction Choppa. You never wanna play this card down as a battle card. You always wanna combo with it because when you pay that one energy, it gains 10,000 power. And when you combo with the card, choose one of your attacking cards and it gains double strike. So that turns single attack cards into double strike. Now, let me give you a nasty combo. You're attacking with Mighty Attack Son Goku, right? It's got critical. And you decide, I'm gonna combo with Furthering Destruction Choppa. Now it's got now it's got critical and double strike. So if it manages to go through, your opponent can't negate it or combo out of it, they're putting two cards from their life into their drop area right away. That is pretty darn uh, gross, <laughs> if you ask me. But anything here that doesn't have double strike, you can do that with. You can do it with this Goku, you can do it with uh, Trunks, you can do it with Vegeta. I don't really recommend using this because that's just kind of a waste. This already has double strike and this has triple strike. So unless you don't have triple strike at a, in a way of making it work with Goku and Vegeta being in your areas, you can combo this and give a double strike as well. But again, energy costs three or more. So when you combo with it, you're drawing a card because of Trunks auto. So more draw, more combos. There we go. 
All right, so that's four copies of that. There's one more combo card that I really, really like with this deck, and that is Unyielding Spirit Trunks. You play it for, you can combo with it for free. You don't ever want to play it down in your battle area. This is a combo card. You don't want to attack with it. So again, keep it in your hand until you're ready to put it into your combo area. All right, so the auto says, during your turn, when you combo with this card, if your leader card is blue, choose up to one of your energy and switch it into active mode. So it's a free uh, combo for extra 5,000 and you get an energy untapped which can be very game-changing, honestly. Uh, when you get an energy back, you can do a lot of things on your opponent's turn that you could not normally do if you've been tapped out of energy. All right, so we're gonna put Unyielding Spirit Trunks here. All right, so now it's time to get into the non-battle cards. These are your extra cards for the deck. Um, I like playing two copies of Senzu Bean. Um, it's a good way to untap energy and also get an extra 5,000 power. So most of the time you don't want to use Senzu Bean unless you're being attacked and you really only want to use it on your leader. Uh, choose up to one of your cards, it gains 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Then after you've tapped your energy for Senzu Bean, you can choose two energy and untap them. So that works out really well too. You just have to have the one untapped in order to play it. So you have to have one energy available, play it. You get that one back or whatever, any, any two energy you get them back, whether you want that one back and another one, or if you want just two that have been tapped over here, different colors, it's hard to say. This is pretty much a mono blue deck. Uh, the only really difference is Further and Destruction Champa, uh, and you never want to play this as a red card. You're playing as a combo card, so you're always going to be pretty much untapping blue energy. Never put this down as energy, guys. I really don't recommend you doing that in this deck, but Senzu Bean, really good for that. And you're getting an extra 5,000, so that turns Trunks Hope of the Future into 20,000. Makes it a little bit harder for them to uh, hit you hard enough to have to take, for you to have to take life. Now again, this deck can be a little bit slow to accelerate energy and, or not accelerate energy, to, uh, to get going what needs to get going, such as Trunks the Constant Hope. So ways that we can help things along here, bring out some extra energy, is to play four copies of Objection. Objection says, choose up to one card from your hand and add it to your energy. So you tap two energy to play this card. Then you take another card from your hand and you play it as energy. For argument's sake, I turned it upside down, but let's just say it's another objection. So now you have another energy to, at, at your disposal, but you had to pay two to get there. So it's really not available to you until the next turn, but it's a way of building up your board, um, making it a little bit quicker, putting down two energy for turn instead of one. So objection, really, really good for blue decks for that energy acceleration. There's also a way you could play it with the Bulma and Whis engine. But uh, I'm not a big fan of Whis uh, in this deck. I feel like playing or tapping four energy to add one can be a little bit counterproductive because by then you're so close to getting what you need here for Trunks to Constant Hope. It just doesn't seem worthwhile. So there's your objections. Now let's go on to your uh, counter attacks. This one is your first one. It's Mafuba. Yeah, that's right. Mafuba, the channel name, negate the attack and place this card in the attacking card. Now, this doesn't work on leader cards. You cannot put this on a leader card. This is only for battle cards right here. These four here, this one, uh, you don't want to put this in battle anyways, and these two, uh, anything that's in the battle area, you can negate the attack, place this card in the attacking card and at the end of your opponent's next turn. Yeah, the opponent's next turn. That means two turns they can't use that card. Then you take this card off of them and put it into your drop area. As long as this card is stacked on top of another card, that card is not treated as a battle card and its skill cannot be activated. So you've canceled out everything that that card does once you play Mafuba on top of it for two turns. You do it for their whole next turn and then their next turn after that. Pretty solid. So Mafuba's good for stalling out basically more than anything. And last but certainly not least, our last counter is the negate called Weiss's Coercion. Now for one energy, you negate the attack, choose up to one of your energy and switch it back into active mode. So you must have one energy available to play this card. So let's just say I have this energy available. I go, all right, I'm gonna negate with Weiss's Coercion. I tap the energy and then I untap it because the card says so. So it's like you use it for free, but not really, because you have to have at least one available in order to use it in the first place. So there's your four copies of Weiss's Coercion. And this is the entire Future Trunks deck that we have put together for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys do like it. I personally like this build more so than anything else we've put together so far. Uh, I, I feel like this has got a good opportunity to stand up against some things, whereas before we were having some issues making it actually work. But uh, Trunks can be pretty resilient, and we have lots of ways to negate. 
We got Mai and we got Whis. Those are the two best ways to negate attacks, block, whatever. And then we have Mafuba as well. While we set up for big turns, big, big turns going on into the later game. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our future Trunks deck. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Oh, that didn't work out very well. I forgot. I'm sideways. Yeah, down below that way. <laughs> and I promise you guys, we do have a Dragon Ball Super mat in the works. Right now, we're still using our Pokemon Evolutionaries mat from our other channel. If you guys don't know about it, we do have a Pokemon TCG channel that is much larger and much more popular than this one. You guys can check that out if you're new to the channel. But uh, we are working on getting a Mafuba Jar mat. Don't worry, we'll have one eventually. For now, we're stuck using Pokemon mats. I'm sorry. We came from Pokemon. What do you expect? <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we now release you.